After watching this video, you will know how to design and estimate filters for bears test electrical fast transient phenomena with proper bear simulator and proper coupling decoupling network together with ground reference plane. Subscribe and have a successful day with EMC. Before we start testing different filtering components, let us see how bear simulator and next coupling decoupling network circuits look like. This is circuit for our line burst generator there are inputs plus and minus and component starting from the left side we have high voltage source charging resistor energy storage capacitor ideal switch parasitic shaping inductor that is making the rise time input duration shaping resistor impedance matching resistor and DC blocking capacitor. We have three parameters, dV, discharge voltage equals to 4 kV, repetition frequency equals to 5 kHz or 100 kHz, and time delay to start a different part of an input sine wave for example. Also our switch needs to be triggered with proper pulse with time delay but what is important with on time and period that depends on the repetition frequency and in the standard the pulses are repeated in proper step 75 times. Let us now validate this circuit. This is how our generator is tested in reality. First with open circuit, then with 50 ohm load and high resistance load 1 kilo ohm. We have requirements that when we set proper voltage from 250 volts to 4 kV that depends on the standard and device that will be tested. The open circuit values should be the same. The output voltage for 1 kilo ohm load should be almost the same as set voltage and values for 50 ohm load should be half of the set voltage because the output of the generator should be equal to 50 ohm and repetition frequency can be 5 kilohertz or 100 kilohertz and voltage for proper load should be always the same with the 50 ohm load rise time should be 5 plus minus 1.5 pulse width should be 50 plus minus 50 nanoseconds and for 1 1000 ohms, the rise time should be the same, 5 plus minus 1.5 nanosecond and the pulse width could be different because we have 50 nanoseconds but the tolerance is higher from minus 50 nanoseconds to plus 100 nanoseconds. The maximum value here could be 150 nanoseconds. The burst duration at 5 kilohertz is 50 milliseconds but at 100 kilohertz it's 0.75 milliseconds and we have our parameters here but also we have measurements when we measure values for 1 kilo ohm load and 50 ohm load we have minimum value maximum value then values at 10 percent of the maximum value 90 percent of the maximum value mid value so at 50 percent of maximum value and then we calculate the rise time for 1 kilo ohm and also pulse width and the same for 50 ohm rise time 50 ohm and pulse width 50 ohm so let's see our results we got our 75 pulses for open circuit 50 ohm load and 1 kilo ohm load values that you can see for generator circuit are hard to choose because you test the generator at a low value load 50 ohm and high value load 1 kilo ohm and for both of these loads you need to have the same rise time and a little bit different pulse width but it's similar that is why the values have big tolerance because you should have both pulses for low load and high load values very similar and it is not easy to choose 
proper components here to be in tolerance for both loads. Now let us see how the one single pulse looks like. We have pulse for open circuit, 50 ohm circuit and 1 kilo ohm circuit and I will not try to put curses here and have the best values. Better way is to measure this as I said before and the results can be seen here. The rise time for the 50 ohm load is 6.10 nanoseconds, pulsed width is 31 nanoseconds, output voltage is close to 2 kV because for 50 ohm we should have half of value and now we are at 4 kV charging voltage. For 1 kilo ohm load we have rise time almost 4 nanoseconds, so different LTG rise time but still intolerant. Pulse width is equal to 70.05 nanoseconds and output voltage is 3589 volts and should be close to 3800 volts but with tolerance 20 percent so it's still fine you can see that it's not easy to choose these components but i think that this generator that i created is good enough to test components and test filters in lt spice with this model let us see now coupling decoupling network circuit this circuit for our coupling decoupling network we have input for burst generator input for mains line neutral and protective earth outputs for our dut line neutral protective earth and also grand reference plane because this is common mode signal that we will test and our coupling decoupling network is put on the metal plate in reality. Coupling network consists only of capacitors, 33 nanofarads for each line separately, and the coupling network has three capacitors and three inductors. One capacitor is between line and neutral, second is between line and protective earth, and third is between neutral and protective earth. Our input signal from Bergenator will go to one of three lines, depends on trigger parameter. If there is one, it will go to phase line. If minus one, it will go to neutral line. And if zero, it will go to protective earth line. And return by ground reference plane. I need to add here that this test should be tested with burst signal going each line at the same time so we should not have these switches here we should have just connection here to each capacitor the signal should go to each line at the same time but for testing purposes it's better to have each line separately to see how filtering works and you can always delete these switches and test it together let us see now component testing. This is component testing. I prepared four circuits with reference resistor 50 ohm, with resistor and capacitors, CY capacitors, common mode show with coupling value 0 0.85. For all generators, our frequency is set to 5 kHz. Our digital voltage is 2 kV and our time delay is 5 milliseconds. Let's see results. Let us see current over our 50 ohm reference resistor and voltage. We can see our burst consisting of 75 pulses. Time delay is 5 milliseconds. That is why it's starting at peak of the sine wave and for the current we are above 24 amperes and for voltage we are above 1.2 kV. Now let's see how the current looks like on the resistor with CY capacitors. And the voltage. You can see that current and the voltage is much smaller 
because part of it is going through CUI capacitors. We can see C2 capacitor should have more current than C1 because our trigger is 1 and that means that our bell generator is coupling to phase line. Let's see the current through capacitors. You can see that C2 capacitor have much more current than C1 because our burst is going through phase line to our C2 capacitor and back by ground reference plane. Let's delete the capacitors. You can check if various store are adding more filtering to our load. That's current and voltage. You could say that this current and this voltage is almost the same or the same. That means that this varistor did not work. So the amplitude here is too low to trigger the varistors, but it still can influence our electronics and make our device stop. Now let's check a very interesting part with common mode choke 0 0.85 coupling. That means that we have almost all of this inductance is common mode inductance, but we have also hit differential mode inductance. And let's see our results. First, voltage and current. Let's make a closer look for one pulse. Our last pulse is very small. It's only a little above our sine wave. That is why common mode choke is helping us for burst signal. Now let's see what will happen with more real components and full filter. The last circuit that we will test for our burst simulator, we have full filter with various stores, discharge resistor, CX capacitor, common mode choke, two CY capacitor, two differential inductors, and input capacitors with parasitics and our load. Various stores connected to protective earth are by screw parasitics, and the same is for CY capacitors connected to protective earth, those are also connected by screw parasitics. And our protective earth is connected to ground reference plane. Let's see results. Let's see if we have any noise on our load. It looks like we have a pure sine wave for current and for voltage. Also, let's split the screen that we have voltage on upper part and on lower part we have current and let's see where our noise is filtered maybe first current on L line you can see that there is a noise here let's rotate the current here now we can check where the current is going let's see the U7 value store small U15 it should be the highest value Yes, it's higher and U16. So part of the current is going by U15, but also a U16. For now, let's leave U15. We have current from our coupling, the coupling network only, and our U15 varies. Let's see how much is going through digital resistor. Through digital resistor, there is almost no current. Maybe delete. We delete this current and we'll see how much is going through 2.2 CX capacitor. There is a lot of current going through phase line to neutral line and then probably to ground reference plane by coupling inside the, the coupling network. 
I deleted the voltage and now we can check the common mode current. Still some current is going to the common mode choke. We still have some current going to full CY capacitor. Almost 2 amperes. The current that is going to CY capacitor is above 1.8 ampere. This could be a lot. Let's see how much current is going to any of these capacitors close to load. This milliampere current, nothing here and here. Eventually we have small peaks on the 100 nano farad capacitor. So as you can see that this low value capacitor is important. We can also compare how much current is going through the screws. So inductance here almost above 24 amperes and here about 3 amperes. CX capacitor common mode show are doing here a lot. Continue first point of connection to protective earth and second point connection to protective earth is doing a lot of filtering. This concludes my video on burst pulses, electric fast transient phenomena. If you like this video, please subscribe and thumbs up. In the next video, I will try to focus maybe on radiated emission in LT5 and filtering to it. It will be something different than typical, but it will consume a lot of time to do it. So I don't know if this will be next video, but it is, if you have any suggestions to next EMC topic, leave a comment and I have a successful day with EMC. Bye.